Hello guys, this is Video Reborn. Today it's a review of the Apple iPad 2 Smart Cover and an extra accessories that I have to revisit that has been mentioned recently in Engadget.com and I will have to talk about it. Okay. So first of all, this is the latest iPad 2. My version is a 32 gigabyte white edition, and as you can see, this is extremely thin. Okay, and I got the same aluminum back with the black Apple logo, a camera which shoots HD video at 720p, and also a front-facing camera on the top. And also the um, light sensors. Okay. Now this is an IPS screen. This is very beautiful. As you can see that when I try to cover it with the smart cover, it locks. Hear that? It locks the iPad 2 automatically and unlocks without swiping. Okay. Usually, when the iPad 2, it sleep. Okay. You have to swipe it, right? You don't necessarily need to do that. So let me show it to you. Okay. All right, nice. All right, that's cool, huh? Another good thing about it is, as the Apple commercial says, you can fold it to a triangular shape where you can do a horizontal type. Okay, with an elevated, a little bit slanted, which is uh, pretty ergonomic. Next beauty is put it upright with the case. So um, as you can see that this triangular shape becomes a kickstand to um, secure the iPad 2, but you got to be really careful when you are actually um, using it to type stuff, maybe touching the icons on top. You might, if you are pressing too hard, you might actually push it to fall. But I didn't really think about that's an issue. However, the home button, okay, you can't really, okay, you can press it, but it's not suggested to do that. It's better to hold it with the hand like this and secure it correctly in order to press the home button, okay? Other than that, I think it should be good, you know? Um, such as, let's go to um, iBooks, oh, whoops, iBooks, all right? And um, I figured that uh, you don't really need to use too much force to, to control with the kickstand, so I would say it's sufficient, in, uh, it's sufficient for um, securing the iPad too. And uh, but there's the one problem that uh, I have encountered. It's uh, it's this thing is too upright. Okay, it's not really 45 degrees. So uh, it's good and bad. Good thing is if I have things to elevate the um, iPad 2 like this. Okay, up to my eye level, I can do FaceTime or uh, Skype video chat, for example. Okay. Other than that, if it is just like the um, uh, 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 you know normal operation, such as like a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, this thing is too. The, the angle is not good enough. Okay, I, I, I recommend Apple to have the um, foldable triangular shape as like maybe 45 degrees or at least maybe um, a lot lower, a lot slanted, so that I can view it uh, without my neck strain. Okay, because right now it's too upright and I have a hard time to actually. Um, read it. Good that is an IPS screen, you know. Uh, this is the Bluetooth keyboard Microsoft um, uh, 6000, all right. So uh, enough of this. And uh, let's see. Oh, yes. You might think, how do I take it off? Okay, this is the beauty of the magnet. It's automatically aligned with the right edges of the um, iPad 2. So you see this this bar here. It's this entire bar. It's the uh, magnet. And if you think that uh, th will this scratches the iPad 2 aluminum? No, definitely not. They got some plastic um, uh, 
protection going on here, and you can easily snap the uh, entire cover okay, right to the edge without worrying about the alignment. Okay, like that. It's so it covers perfectly. Okay, perfect. There's this thing here. Okay, it's since the mat it is a magnet and there is a metal on top. You might sometimes paste. I mean, uh, attach your 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 cover right on top of the bezel. Okay, uh, and you thought it's secured. It's not. Right. <laughs> Uh, as you can see that okay that's not secured so you got to be careful okay or you, and you're also scratching the glass so uh, what you need to do is make it as far as you can as low as you can in order to uh, attach the uh, cover and you'll figure it out and another thing it's uh, there's a ma magnet over here magnet switch magnetic switch so let me use the uh, magnetic screwdriver to turn on and off the, um, the screen. Okay. Let's see if I can do that correctly. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Yep. There we go. Okay. It's right over here. Okay. Nice, huh? All right. Nice demonstration. Not a lot of people have done that. Okay. All right. So. Um, that's how good iPad 2 is, and let me tell you, I highly recommend it, even though it does not have flash, okay? But uh, the 3D graphics is just amazing compared to the Motorola Zoom, okay? So uh, I would suggest people, if you are busy and uh, don't want to deal with a lot of technology or customizations, okay? And definitely stable, iPad 2, for sure, okay? Motorola Zoom um, is the honeycomb, and honeycomb is quite buggy. All right. Oh, also, um, there's one thing cool about it. It's the covers actually covers your back. So if you want to take a picture, you can do it this way. You can hold it this way, okay, and take photos. Or if you want to put it on the table and don't want to scratch the back of the aluminum and the Apple logo, you can do this, okay. You can actually... Um, Cover the whole back, okay. There's a little magnet over here, not too strong, but it's okay, quite secure. And um, you can do that perfectly, okay. Very good. Now, next one it's the um, Sanyo K BCL2. This is a um, Sanyo rechargeable battery with 500 milliamp hour. I have this video. Um, couple years ago I got this from Costco uh, for uh, $25.99 and I bought a second one that's $14.99 all right recently like today and gadget talks about it saying Sanyo has a press release of releasing this at $80 okay that's crazy I wouldn't think this thing worth $80 okay I got it for $25 I think that's that's enough you know it's lithium battery come on 500 milliamp all right. What's so good about it? It um, outputs a one amp from one USB port. If you have two USB ports, it outputs 500 milliamp uh, at the same time. So, um, in order to charge your iPad, you need at least one amp, okay, to get it work. So now let's take a look at the. Uh, just plug in any USB cable, okay, and uh, let me connect to it here. And then press the button and you can see that the iPad 2 it's charging okay so uh, well that's it this is video reborn all right this is a review of the Apple iPad 2 smart cover and the Sanyo KCB L2 500 milliamp USB rechargeable battery. Thanks for watching. Later.